Okay, it's gonna snap right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It ate it. Now the more it moves, the better. The more it's gonna make the enzyme. See it's moving inside. Yeah, it's closing better. Moves it help the plant the plant produces the enzyme too. Yeah. Break it down. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's trying to get out. But it can't. I kind of feel bad. I know. Poor spider. Now this is going to stay for 10 days or 7 days. And then the Venus would take the juices out of the spider. They will just open and there will be a carcass. See those hair-like projections? They're keeping the spider inside. See, Venus flytraps like to trap the little spiders and ants. It has to be the right size. If any part of the spider would be dangling around, that part would decay instead of being digested and that would be that bad for the plant. But this one right here was the right size for the leaf, so it closed. This one is a tiny baby fly. The trap swallowed and now the juice is gone. You can buy Venus fly traps online. It arrives with 2 inch container. Sometimes it's in a plastic bag wrapped and it has a cup on the top. I bought this from Lowe's. Venus fly trap plant does not like soil that is rich in nutrients. It likes to be moist all the time. That is why you should keep the plant moist. You should water it twice to three times a week if it's open or if it's covered once a week is good too. It likes humidity. It does not like wind at all. No draft, no wind. You must keep water underneath all the time. This has holes underneath so it just gets the water from the bottom. You should also occasionally spray it with a spray bottle. Spray the leaves. The Venus flytrap does not like minerals, so don't use tap water. Filtered water is not a good idea either. The best way to have a healthy plant is to use distilled water. If you like to replant your Venus flytrap, sphagnum moss is a good choice to replant. A window seal facing west is an ideal place for Venus flytrap. The sunlight makes the traps red and it attracts more flies. It also produces more of the sweet scent, so the flies are attracted to it. Now inside of the leaf there are like three hair projections. You see the little three dots right there, right? those three dots. Those are the hair projections, like little sensors. Your trigger mechanism. I don't know why. It ate it. They ate it? Mm hmm And the little insect is trapped inside. Do not try to trigger anything for the trap to close. If the trap closes, like this one. This one was closed because Little kids wanted to see the action, but the plant loses a lot of energy and there is no food because it has no nutrients in the moss. It only gets the nutrients when it captures the spider, like you see the dark spot inside? That's when it gets its nutrients. After a while some traps die. They turn brown like this and then they die away. You can cut the leaf with scissors. Be careful not to close the little traps. New traps sprout out and they grow very fast. Usually the plant has six to seven traps and then after that it might form another plant next to it. 
if you want you can replant that one and get a new new pot of plants okay it's gonna snap right now Should they all get out? It's going to. It has been a week and the flycatcher leaf has opened up and inside is the dehydrated spider. <laughs>